Welcome back to Planet Neo Lexia, everybody. I'm your host, Anitate, and we're playing Chroma Squad. So I've picked out my team members. I'm going to go through here and show you a little bit real quick. Um, each one has a different position, as you can see, assist, techie, lead, and that sort of thing. And each one of those has a different kind of skill. And each person that you choose for the role has their own set of skills, as well as a salary that you have to pay them, because you got to pay your actors. So... Here's what I've picked out. For my assist character, I've got Alert Johansson. She gets plus one fan conversion rate because she's famous apparently, so that helps. And I changed her costume from pink to orange because that is just a much nicer color. Um, here's Weasley Stripes. And he gets plus 10% health and plus 30 pistol damage because he is a techie and he... Um, well, actually, I'm not sure if it's just the character that gets the pistol or if it's the techie. But the techie does get a pistol, so that works out well for him. Anyway, the lead is Dude Lee, and his nickname is Jet. And uh, he gets plus 4 skill regen, plus 10% to critical, negative 20 health, but because he's the lead, he actually gets plus 50% health, so that actually ends up being better than he was before. My assault character is got, uh, she's got plus 3% to critical, plus 20% to attack, and because she's also the assault character, she gets plus 30 to attack, so she is a beast. And for my scout, I've got Michonne, expert survivalist. This actress has survived hordes of fans. <laughs> A not-too-subtle nod to um, The Walking Dead. So I'm actually going to change her nickname to Zed Head. Is there anyone else's nickname I wanted to change? Okay, since this guy's name is Dude Lee and her nickname is Lee, that's too confusing, so I'm going to change it to um, let's see here. Goomba. Well, she's green. Maybe I should change it to Koopa Trooper or something. Hmm. Number five. Number five is alive. And in that movie... Uh, short Circuit, he is referred to as a giant metal grasshopper, and her costume is green. Grasshoppers are green, so there's my logic there. Just work with me. So we're all done picking out our people now. Um, actually, let me just double check real quick and see if there was a... Yeah, see? His nickname is Simon, as in Simon Phoenix from Demolition Man. He's got yellow hair. Yeah, it's just... And it also says cryogenics. Experienced with science fiction movies and cryogenics. Yeah, it just... There's a lot of little things like that that just really tickle me in this game. Your game has been saved. Hooray! So here's where we can check out our studio and everything. Got a message from the props guy who says, Hey, I'm a master of crafting props, and I can sell you some cool stuff, so check out the shop. Okay. So here's the shop. Where you can upgrade your costumes and all kinds of stuff. I'm not going to deal with any of that right at this moment. So I just don't think I really need to. Back. There we go. Uh, same with the studio. You can upgrade the studio. Now I think I am going to go ahead and get the SD camera. 10% gain on audience from director's instructions. And the purchase is $100 in every episode. You have to pay $15. I'm not sure if that's for the guy operating it or something. I, I'm not really sure. So it does cost you money over time. But as you gain audience, you gain more money. So I would assume that's a sound investment. So we'll go ahead and get that. And actors customize their stats. Oh, that just shows their stats. Here's their skills, and here's different skills that unlock later. Um, with each season, it looks like you get a new set of skills. Now, I'm not sure if you um, can only have one active skill at a time. I'm not real sure, because some of them have two, but you can only pick one. So I don't know if you get the ability to use more as the seasons progress, or if you always just have to pick one thing. I will figure that out later as we go along, I suppose. Um, now let me see. 
There was something else that I wanted to do. What was it? Oh, here we go. So here's where we can change all the different things, like uh, the studio name, the Grape Apes, squad name. I'm going to leave it as Chroma Squad. I think that sounds cool. Transformation. Um, Chromatize. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. But I am going to change the transformation shouts. Let's get dangerous. Darkwing Duck. Mecha name, Mecha. Hmm. Let me think here. Do I want to change the Mechas? We don't even have Mechas yet, so I would assume that we can change the stuff again later. I might wait on that until we actually get some mechas, and then I'll figure out what I want to do with that. Finishing move, Chroma Power. Yep, that looks good. Let's save that. Go back. Alright, let's get started with our first episode. Yes, this is the boss we have to fight at the end of the first episode. The Boxing Box. He's a box, and a boxer. A boxing box. I love it. I love it! Season 1, Episode 1. Alright. So we start off in our human forms, not wearing our costumes. And that means we can't use any of our special moves that are inherent to us when we transform. Like uh, the guns and the, the special moves and stuff like I showed you. The things you can unlock later. But you know... Just like in Power Rangers, you got to start off fighting in human form, and then when things start to get serious, you put on the costumes, and if things get more serious, you start bringing out the mechas. But we don't have mechas right now, so about as serious as we can get is throwing on our cheap costumes. But it's still a lot of fun. And also, I'm not sure... I know I've been kind of breezing through the dialogue right now, um, I don't know if that bothers you guys or not. I just, there's a lot of it, and I wasn't, sh I didn't really feel like reading all of it. If there's something really funny or cute, I'll read it, of course, but for the most part, it's just banter. These powerful teenagers are the last hope of humanity. Their first task is to defend a science lab from an evil monster. Because plots. Okay, here they come. Now this is adorable. Noisy noises. And they start popping out from behind this little costume changing thing. <laughs> it just, it looks so cheap and cheesy. Obviously, you know, you can upgrade your studio later and make it all look professional and stuff, but for now, yeah, this is just campy as all get out, and it's just so much fun. Get ready for some action. So... Director's instructions, we have to perform three team acrobatics and keep all the actors above 50% health. Alright. Now, let's see here. I want to plan this out as carefully as I can. Double team this guy. Bam! Now they drop items like duct tape and cotton and stuff like that. I did see, after I got done with this fight, because like I said, I played the first couple of things, and this was the last thing that I played before I decided to start recording, because I was like, okay, I think I've got the hang of it. So apparently there's a crafting screen. I didn't look at it, so I'm not quite sure how it works or what exactly you need to do. But um, there is apparently stuff you can craft. I would assume props or things. Okay. Put you right there. Bam! And 
Oops, I left him stranded, so we'll just move him up here. And we'll wait. Enemy's turn. Hopefully they don't beat up on us too much. Okay, good. So they didn't have enough room to move to also do an attack, so we're good to go. Sometimes they do counter moves and stuff. He is really dangerously close to half health, but I think he's okay. Yeah, the last time I played this, somebody dropped below half health because... I don't know, they just all ganged up on her and it was kind of unfair. Bam! This time, though, it looks like we are okay. I'm gonna move him here. Oh, he dodged! That is so not cool. Ow! Can she do a flip? She can, but it's out of range. I think we've done enough, um... Yeah. Perform three acrobatics. Yes! I got both the objectives this time. I'm happy. Okay. So now the next fight comes. That's an amazing entrance, Transmancer. This will be great to keep it up. Chroma Squad, why did you have to mess up our visit to the science lab? You will face the consequences. But not right now. I'll come back for you later. Why? Because plots. What are you doing here in that lab? It's none of your business. Traffic light guy. I love his hat, too. That's a pretty cool hat. <laughs> Cerebro might have something to say. You're right, Scar. We should go see Cerebro. Smoke bombs! Chroma Squad heads to Cerebro's chambers. They reach the place with glorious teleport effects. Let's consult the brain in the jar that we just happened to find in this abandoned warehouse. Because nothing horrible could happen from this. Again, maybe I'm just reading too much into this, but... I really, really feel like this is something that's gonna come up to bite them in the ass later. Who knows? Maybe they will completely straight, um, straight face this whole game and nothing weird will happen that is supernatural or anything and it really is just a game about a TV show. But I'm kind of half expecting there to be a plot twist later where it turns out there really is some some weird stuff going on with like alien invasions or something to that effect. It, it would just it would fit. It would fit. But we'll see. I could be wrong about that. Okay. Where are the monsters? Here's the boxing box. <laughs> I love how the little flap just kind of kind of moves as he's bouncing. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. You're so late, boxing box. This won't happen again, I'm sorry. <laughs> Back to our lines, then. I'll turn you into cardboard! Don't get me wrong, number five. I'm cardboard. <laughs> oh, the puns. Minions, join me! Minions. 
Alright. Get ready to serve, boss. Defeat boss monster with a finishing move. Defeat all minions before attacking the boss monster. Now, the last time I played this, for some strange reason, it said that I didn't get the second objective, even though I, I did not attack him. So I don't know if counterattacks count? I don't have any control over that, though, so... I don't see how they expect us to um, deal with that. So we have the option to chromatize now. We could transform into our costumes and get our special moves and stuff. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's get dangerous! I think that looks pretty cool. So here they are in costume now. Everybody looks cool. So you can still do the teamwork thing. You can also use their um, special moves. So let's see here. gonna triple team this guy. Whoa. Triple attack! Bam! Yeah, see, they do counter moves sometimes. And I don't know if that counts or not. Either way. Yeah, he's running right up to us. I really, really, really don't want to accidentally attack him. Oh! I hate when they dodge. That's so not fair. guy down here and do a single attack which did knock him back a little bit that's cool counter Ooh, that was a massive counter uh oh oh no <gasps> oh my person's about to die who's my healer you are you are gonna heal her heal dukin Okay, we absolutely have to get rid of these guys. Um. Okay, it looks like we've got pretty good range of motion around here. Start with you. Okay. So, we have followed along with the boss's instructions so far. I am actually going to move you back. I'm going to move you here. Double team. We gotta weaken him a little bit before we can do our finishing move. Because I did that wrong the last time I played. I just did the finishing move right away like you do in the demo. And it doesn't work that way. 
you gotta weaken him first. There. Triple attack. Alright. Put you right there. Okay. So, enemy's turn. He's gonna do a super punch. Oh, ouch! Ah. I'm actually going to try to stun him and see if we can do that. Dazed. Okay. So let's get everybody into position because on the next turn, we are going to um, have to do our finishing move. Put you right there. Okay, enemy's turn. Dodge. Oh, oh, careful with that counter. Okay. Put you right there. So we should be all in position to do our finishing move now. Chroma power! Here goes. Awesome, we got all the objectives this time. Fantastic. Arg, I've been recycled. Boom. <laughs> to be continued. All right. So let's see how we did. Items dropped. We got some cotton, some Play-Doh, and some duct tape. Audience. Now that says 2800 and this ticks down. You get some money out of it, and then you retain some fans. So it looks like we've retained 84 fans and got $560 out of that. Okay, game has been saved. So that takes us back here. And uh, now we can do shopping and crafting and things like that. I'm going to play around with the crafting a little bit before we come back for the next episode. Just so I can figure out if it's interesting or not. And if it is, I'll show you guys what I'm doing. And if not, then I'll just go ahead and skip to the next combat. So I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. It's a, it's a really fun game. You can find it on Steam for $14.99, and I think it's worth every penny. So far, it's just an absolutely adorable game. Very clean. I haven't seen any bugs yet. Of course, it's still early. And from here on out, this is all going to be new stuff to me, so I'm sure I'll find a way to screw it up horribly. But I hope you're having fun and enjoying it as much as I am. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.